unknown, not famous person. Um, but yeah, I guess I had a very traumatizing summer this year. Every time I stepped outside, I was immediately fondled. Not by my husband over there, but by a spotted lantern fly. And as I took my revenge upon them by stopping them to death, I thought to myself that maybe sometimes murder is okay. And I bet it's even more okay if it's done in musical form. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to present to you a production for Venom Theater next year uh, that's going to be about lanternfly murder. Uh, so it's going to be the sequel to Stop, this time with more murder and just a little bit less music. So, I initially wanted to tap into my own experiences to really understand and authentically portray the spotted lanternfly in this musical. So first of all, spotted lanternflies love flat surfaces. I usually lie on flat surfaces. They are native to China and Vietnam. I'm actually from Vietnam. Uh, they are an invasive species to the U.S. and I, uh... <laughs> Don't clap at that! <laughs> so I yeah, moved from Vietnam to the U.S. and I obviously am taking jobs from Americans. <laughs> making me invasive species to the U.S. <laughs> So I begin, the, the, to, I begin this story in the beginning, of, beginnings of time, when God asked Satan to make one thing, and that was this nuisance to mankind, a spotted lanternfly. A spotted lanternfly is neither a fly nor can it fly, so its existence is pretty much meaningless. <laughs> so they, in 2014, spotted lanternflies were stowed away on a shipment of stones to Berks County in Pennsylvania. Here, <laughs> we're going to cast Lonely Island to capture this nautical journey. <laughs> you all love this song? Uh, spotted lanternflies are crafty hitchhikers uh, using what researchers say as human mediated dispersal. So they like to latch onto vehicles, especially. <laughs> Toy cars. Uh, they <laughs> attach on to delinquents who don't know how to ride and park spin scooters. And the people of Walmart. They love those people. So the spotted lanternflies are seen in 16 states, and they'll actually spread to California by 2033 without any preventative measures. So in this graph, you can see that red equals bad. And that's not a surprise, because Joseph McCarthy in the 1950s predicted the Red Scare, but he predicted the wrong one. Here's a conspiracy theory. Maybe Star Lantern flies carry communism. The graph is uncannily, yeah, very uncanny similar. But, yeah, so, anyways, a Star, a Star Lantern fly actually went on to Joe Biden's shoulder when he was in Delaware. Yeah, oh shit, they got to Joe. Um, and it's going to be a literal communist party here today. Uh, yeah, so spotted lantern flies have mouths that are shaped like a straw. So they're really good at sucking. <laughs> sucking the tree of heavenly orgasms which is its preferred host plant for obvious reasons, enjoyable reasons. So spotted lanternflies, they eat tree sap, and then while they're eating this sap, they excrete honeydew, which is this sugary, sweet waste substance. And honeydew actually encourages sooty mold and damages plants. So I kind of, so what came to my mind was that while these lanternflies are in their feeding frenzy, they're actually basking in their butt juices. <laughs> Very graphic when you visualize that. So yeah, they must really enjoy eating ass. <laughs> I don't think you were expecting this talk. And I might not be invited here again based on these very graphic pictures. <laughs> Um, 
was this funny? Yeah, they turned so. Yeah, during their eight, because of their eight anal you know, orgies, they've been. <laughs> The Pennsylvania economy over $300 million per year. So they're terrorizing our top produce. So grapes, almonds, apples, walnuts, cherries, hops, peaches, plums, and apricots. And you might not care about your daily serving of fruits and vegetables, but no grapes and hops means no beer and wine. And that's hurting millions of Americans who think they know wine or are cultured. <laughs> so I, I'm going to liken this mass suffering to the biblical plague of the swarming flies where the land was laid to waste. Instead now we have the plague of spotted lantern flies where old white men lay to waste. Uh, deprived of their wealthy alcoholism. <laughs> what will, what, how will the world survive without rich old white men? <laughs> I know there's a few of you out there. <laughs> so every good story needs a hero, and the hero really lies within all of us today. Uh, so with the brilliant minds of Mr. Rogers and the people who run Mario's, we have a hero's victory towards true lanternfly destruction. So babies are really the root cause of all problems. And as, <laughs> as they grow up, they continue to be problematic, just like the spotted lanternfly life cycle. So the female spotted lanternfly can lay at least two egg masses, each containing about 30 to 50 eggs, making them the star of TLC's next hit show, 100 Kids and Counting. <laughs> So their egg masses are actually laid on tree trunks, telephone poles, rocks, vehicles, pretty much anything that is outside a, a lanternfly can lay an egg on. And the eggs usually look like this gray kind of splotchy mud or, or putty, and they're about one and a half inches long and three quarters inches wide. Uh, so I... Yeah, and so lantern flies are laying eggs up until the first frost. So now is actually a really good time to actually start killing these eggs before they hatch in May. And I've made a lot of difficult, yeah, di a lot of offensive, difficult topics today. But I'm going to put one more on the list. I'm going to advocate not for pro-life or pro-choice but a pro-abortion for spotted oh. lantern flies. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually use your credit card to scrape egg masses onto into a Ziploc bag rubbing alcohol that is recommended by researchers out there. It's easy as doing a line of cocaine. <laughs> And there's actually some people out there in the community, they're collecting predator sightings. And so people are actually posting videos and photos onto this Facebook website called Birds Biting Bad Bugs. And they're taking pictures of their backyard beasties just chowing down on lantern flies. And the idea is that if we can identify a natural enemy of a lantern fly, we can then reproduce that enemy and then they can kill lantern flies for us. So this is a graph of what eats lanternflies. So it's pretty obvious that arthropods and birds eat lanternflies. But what about this small set of mammals, amphibians, fish, and reptile? So your local squirrel, squirrels gone wild, your unattended pet goldfish, or Chuck Norris's pet goldfish that can roundhouse kick a lanternfly to submission. And there was this rigorous scientific journal that published an article saying that from the Bulletin of Entomological Research, one person reported that their toddler ate one. And apparently the toddler also spat it out and said it tasted yucky. <laughs> Very reliable source. Uh, but this brings upon a diabolical plan that I have, is that we should release an army of thumb babies. <laughs> Because there is nothing more terrorizing 
than a mob of screaming, screeching babies who hate their food. <laughs> I guess biological warfare has always done us very well in history. <laughs> so there's actually a parasitic fungus that attacks the spotted lanternfly, and it gives it white muscardine disease. And so the idea is to use a helicopter to blanket tree canopies with this parasitic fungus. And once a lanternfly is infected, it becomes, it loses its appetite, becomes super, super sluggish, and it eventually ceases to move. So death by couch potato. So the uh, parasitic fungus is called Bavaria bassania, which is the asexually reproducing form of cordyceps bassania. Yep, you heard me right, cordyceps. So let's definitely cue the apocalypse here in kawaii style. <laughs> Stomping, which is the, I guess, title of this musical, right? So this is the pivotal moment of my production and talk at this moment. And so I'd love for audience participation in this kind of infectious, frenzy, rhythmic dance that we call Stomp 2. And so what I want is that everybody to stand up. I can see everybody has to stand up. Otherwise, it's going to be really awkward. <laughs> it's awkward already! <laughs> So I'm going to say something, and then you're going to stomp once if you if it annoys you, and then you're going to stomp twice if it really angers you, and if your basal level is just anger at life, just, just stomp the whole way. And the idea is that we're going to channel all of our negative energy towards vengeful hate towards the spotted lantern flies. <laughs> so you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right. People who walk really slow in front of you at the grocery store. <laughs> People who talk over you. Man buns. Oh, uh, that's not a lot of people hate man buns, I guess. What about peeing in the urinal and it sprays a little? <laughs> and uh, yeah. hemorrhoids? <laughs> Everybody's let their uh, their hate. Uh, this is going to be a beautiful production. Everybody can sit down now. <laughs> <laughs> this is music to my ears. The stomping. <laughs> or we can just burn them all. And with this very high budget production, we've actually casted Adele as a pyromaniac. <laughs> And we are, I guess you are all American, and everybody here loves guns. So we're going to go Rambo style with a bug assault rifle. That is a thing. A bug assault rifle. <laughs> it's the best weapon you can use against a lanternfly. America. <laughs> And Americans also just love to blow shit up. <laughs> but yeah, now that we've released all of our you know, repressed violence and murderous needs, maybe it's time to reach some peace with lanternflies, just like other invasive species in the US, so like the black rat, the brown marmorated sting bug, the pigeon, house sparrow, feral pig, feral cat, and don't forget, feral me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, lantern fly, actually lantern flies can actually be good. So honeybees apparently are making, yeah, honey out of spotted lantern fly honeydew slash excrement. Uh, so the, there's reviews at the Michelin Guide, uh, dark, smoky goodness, tastes like dried fruit, shared a honey sensory expert. Uh, the epitome of autumn, it's good in a pumpkin spice latte, said any basic person. 
but yeah, this really yummy, sweet, sweet lanternfly ass juice is now going to be stocked in Giant Eagle all over Pennsylvania, apparently. Yeah, because the bees are all in on this butt bonanza. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to leave you with uh, one final thought today. Uh, yeah, maybe we should not, we shouldn't focus on murder, but rather we should really grab life by the ass <laughs> and get some lanternfly booty juice together. Yeah.